Go ahead. Go get March. I've received so many calls from my constituents about how many people are hitting deer in their vehicles. This bill is an attempt to solve a problem in rural Southwest Virginia. Where we live, we have long stretches off two lane roads and deer are totaling so many vehicles. I've heard from law enforcement, community leadership, motorcyclists, mechanics, truck drivers, farmers, etc. I have a friend whose son has already hit three deer in his own driveway just this year. My own son totaled the brand new Floyd County High School driver's ed vehicle, hitting not one but two deer, and he somehow <laughs> still got his license. <laughs> and my parents, who are 70 years old and have never had a car accident, came to visit us this Christmas and they hit a deer. <laughs> they live in East Tennessee and they say they've never seen so many deer as when they come visit us in Southwest Virginia. Here's the facts regarding deer overpopulation. Chronic wasting disease has even been found recently in Fairfax County and the county has implemented an archery program to try to curb the overpopulation. The Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources estimates there is a pre-hunt population of 850,000 to 1 million whitetails living across the state. The Arlington County Department of Parks and Rec decided to pursue a contractor conducted drone based study of local deer. The article goes on to report, at the conclusion of the survey, the drone contractor stated all evidence pointed to a number of deer in Arlington County that exceeded the area's carrying capacity. In other words, deer, population was confirmed, deer overpopulation was confirmed. Then there are also serious life-threatening tick-borne illnesses like Lyme disease <clears throat> that have been associated with deer, and Lyme disease is also an epidemic in our area. So if this, is this, if this is an issue, in urban and suburban areas, imagine how inundated with deer that rural properties get because there are not only no predators, but also there is plenty of easily accessible food and habitat for them to reproduce in large numbers. And I know that we don't wanna to have to go down the path and have to implement what Staten Island, New York, their strategy of taxpayer funded deer vasectomies to curb the overpopulation of deer when private property owners can easily take care of the problem on their own dime. This is also a property rights bill. My constituents agree that our ancestors fought in the American Revolution in order to not have to beg the crown to hunt the royal deer. So if it's on your property, you should be free to hunt year round. I've had cattle farmers, beekeepers, and seasonal workers also reach out that the current season does not allow for them to have time to hunt. Farmers in particular, would like to be able to hunt their property before hay season when they inadvertently kill many fawns with their tractors while haying. I hope you will consider my constituents when deciding how to proceed with this bill. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate March.